Hi everyone, it's Joellis, Kiwi Scrapper from New Zealand and I'm going to share a little project with you today um, that is actually the 14th of July but I won't be posting up this video until, because this is this little project along with some other things um, is going um, into a swap with K, that's Cassikins 1 in England. Um, so this is going to be posted off um, in two days and um, we, we decided that we wouldn't put videos up until until each of us had received our swap parcels and done our videos of opening them. So uh, this won't be going up till towards the end of June. So um, I'd ask, you know, we, we, we discussed, Kay and I discussed um, what we'd like to do for each other and we decided that um, as well as a wall hanging for one another, we would do two mystery projects. So I haven't got the faintest idea what she's done for me and she hasn't got the faintest idea what I've done for her. So I racked my brains trying to come up with something, you know, really useful and pretty that I could do for her that would be a nice surprise. And a lot of people have been doing these, but I had never done them before, so I decided to have a go. And it's a stick pick. <laughs> no, it isn't. No, it isn't. It's a stick pin book. And this is it. <laughs> Not a stick pick. Gosh. So this is what I made. Um, I haven't ever made one of these before, but I've watched other people who have, you know, made them, and I figured out, you know, I've made wall hangings, I've made fabric albums, so I figured out that, you know, I could do this without too much trouble. Um, and K likes pink. That's one of the other colours. So I've done it in a pink. Um, well, the embellishments are all pink, and the trims are pink, but the whole background is a um, sort of a creamy whitish colour. It's not a stark white and it's not a full on cream. It's sort of like maybe an ivory would be a better way of describing it. Um, and after I'd constructed the booklet itself, um, on the front here I, I cut out a, this oval shape, um, fussy cut it as you can see because it's all been, all the scallops have been put in. Um, out of a net curtain, or a fancy curtain, net curtain that I'd bought from an op shop. Well, that's a thrift or charity shop to you, to you guys. Um, and this one I left, I left the colour, so it was already a cream. Some of them I tea stained to put in other projects, but this one I, I left it. So it was a lovely oval, oval shape with a nice scalloped edge. I put flat back pearls. All of, oh no, actually, no, no, I beg your pardon, they're not flat back there. They're um, ordinary entire pearls all around. Put this around this internal oval and then popped in these two lovely little flowers. I got these flowers along with one other, exactly the same, um, from a headband, a child's headband, a little girl's headband, that I found in a $2 shop. So I, I always go around and look for that kind of thing and they're really lo lovely to use. Just make a change, so really pretty. And I took them off. I've got, still got the third one to use elsewhere, but they look really nice, I think, and they match up the all the pink. We've got pink trimming here. It's beautiful. Sorry, I've got I've been using um, the Tim Holtz Ranger ink pad <laughs> for another project. Um, yeah, I've got this pink, lovely pink trim. This lovely little eyelet type of trim, and that came. This one came in a swap with um, Evelyn. That's in America, that's Evelyn 0861. So I'm using that Evelyn. I'm, I'm using a lot of the things that she sent me in that swap. Here's a little, um, this is like a little, um, what do they call it? Kanzashi flower. And this is just a little pink bow with, I put a flat back pearl in the centre of it. Now I left, I, just along the spine I used this ribbon with a little pink lace insert. That may have come from Irene is seriously scrapping in Australia and this trim was one of mine out of my stash so I just popped that but I was thinking of putting some pearls in, in the little flower centres but because it's the back of it it's just going to lay straight on to you know you don't really want it scratching up a surface so this is exactly the same as the front except for that and I've tied it all together with um, this beautiful gauzy ribbon with a satin piece in the middle well, organza, I guess you'd call it. So it just fastens up with this little bow. And this is the centre. 
and I've just put felt in here which has been placed on top of the, um, the background bit. I've put the same lace that's on the outside, I've put it all the way in here as well to up the sides. Um, here I've used this rose, lovely rose pink trim I've got and this um, a very dainty little trim that I've got that puts that's goes up the centre there. Um, these are these more these some more of these can sashi little flowers, one here and one there, either side. And these are just stick pins I made and some little pearl headed um, you know, pins that I popped in she might be able to use. I've tried to bury the points of all these things <laughs> so that she doesn't get stuck with anything. Here's hoping. Um, actually, I'm not going to take all these out one by one simply because I've positioned them so that they, the, as I say, so that the points aren't going to stick into her. Um, and I'm going to work shortly, very shortly, so I just wanted to do this before I leave. So these are the thick pins I've done. We've got amethyst here with pearls. This is a type of greeny one with jade pearls. This one's got a nice big bead cap on it, great big pearl with a little bit glass bead there. Um, these are the colour tones that I normally use in my projects. And this is lovely crystal beads, glass beads here. Um, yeah, so that's the that's the stick pins. And there's just the little pearl headed pins in there. So that's it, that's my project, oh, that's one of my mystery projects, excuse my phone ringing in the background there, that would be my husband ringing up at lunch time to say hi, and I thought of bringing it in here with me, and I thought no, he'd probably ring and it'll go off in the middle of me filming, so <laughs> not a good idea, blasting your eardrums if you're listening like I do on earphones. So yeah, so that's my little um, needle stick pin book for Kay, and um, that's, that's my first mystery project. I'll be filming my second one very shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye.